Today we're going to create a colorful Easter egg using Zentangle patterns. Here's the list of materials you will need. So here, as you can see, my paper is smaller than a regular paper. The white paper is 8 by 11, just regular copy paper. I'm going to fold it in half and then fold it again. We're going to cut it and we're only using one out of the four pieces that you're going to get. So you can save the other three for another project. So in this drawing, I use markers for the inside of the egg. I use a black Sharpie for the lines and I use watercolors for the background. So now I'm going to show you how to draw the egg. We're going to start with the egg shape. I use my hand to help me with the shape of the egg. Sometimes you need to erase and fix it. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Erase and fix it as many times as you need until you get the shape of the egg that you like. Remember to leave a little bit of space on each side, a little bit of space at the top and the bottom. And don't forget to add the lines next to the egg so your egg is not flying in the air. Now that you have the right shape, you can start adding the lines. So as you can see, I'm drawing a different egg. I'm doing different lines using the whole space, dividing my egg into sections. And now I'm gonna start adding variety of line, curvy line, circles, vertical lines. You can do zigzag lines, any patterns you like. Make sure you take your time to draw your lines be creative and use all types of different lines and patterns. So in my composition, I use markers for the inside of the egg, watercolors, and a black Sharpie for tracing the lines. Remember when you're drawing your egg, divide it into sections, but do not do scribble scrabble. Take your time to draw beautiful lines and finish them all the way to the end. And there you have your drawing ready to be colored. Remember always to sign your name at the bottom of your artwork. 